Hello Scorpio, my name is Tiana and welcome to my channel Inspired by Ease. I am so excited that you found my video and I truly hope that you can take something of value away from the message that you will receive today. Um, before we get started, you can skip ahead if you want to, it will only take uh, a few seconds, um, or like 40. But um, I work with two oracle decks. My readings aren't date specific, so this might resonate. You might be watching this from a, from a year from now, who knows? Um, and you can switch around the characters, so I might be talking about you or the cross watcher if you're watching. Hi! Or um, this could also be about someone pivotal in your life that you love and care about or just a, a main game player in your life, okay? So without further ado, let's just jump in, Scorps. Scorp, uh, you have Miracle Allowance and uh, Solar Plexus Chakra. So, um, right away, uh, it is telling me the story that if whatever it is that you are wanting, Scorpio, the key is to allow, not force it to happen, not make it happen, but to just, you know, tune into your divine feminine aspect and do things that can get you more into that receptive, letting go mode, that divine feminine mode, and uh, also, you know, being in your power, knowing who you are, knowing what you want, having healthy boundaries if that applies, and if you do these two things, miracles will begin happening in your life, and miracles is pure love. It is God. And miracles happen when, and I mean, miracles can be like the little things to the big things, you know, and it's really important to celebrate all of them and to recognize everything that's a miracle. Just a beautiful day is a miracle. Just a beautiful sunset is a miracle. Just being able to, uh, you know, eat and have a roof over your head, you know, all of that stuff. So perhaps appreciating is going to be also your key, which I feel like is connected to allowance. So uh, this is basically your unique recipe, Scorpio, for manifesting whatever it is that you're wanting. And from the fairy uh, card deck that I work with, uh, from the cards that came up, I can already see that um, it, it has been feeling like a bit of a struggle. So um, please try to... Um, I, I, I know how frustrating that can be uh, where you are obviously wanting something really badly. Um, whatever it is, it's, it doesn't, it matters, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's applicable. Any, anything that you want is applicable to this. So, um, so whether it's money, a relationship, moving, house, um, traveling, you know, whatever it is, the key for you is going to be allowing it. And not to sound like a repeating record at all, Scorpio, I would just like to add that you, you, you launch the desire, which is really, really easy. You imagine it, you feel it as real, and you practice living in the state as if you already have it. And sometimes when what we desire is so, is such a big leap from our current reality, it can be painful. 
and but it's really important to not let in that that longing um or the the awareness of like not having it but to really focus on doing anything that you can to feel as though you already have it or are it however it applies and just letting and just letting it go not giving up you can still think about it as long as it feels good, but letting the universe deliver it to you. And you don't know how, and you don't know when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen, but you just know that it is going to happen because it's already real to you. And, um, and so, yeah, the trick is shifting that mindset to becoming and living as if you already have it and the universe will have no choice but to deliver that to you and so basically there is a feeling of a need for relaxation here and a trust and faith and for whatever reason, Scorpio, it is really important for you to open up your solar plexus and really, um, really strengthen your inner power and know who you are, know what you want, um, have that inner self-integrity have those clear healthy boundaries um and this could just all be like about just not giving up and keeping the faith and once you do those two things miracles will ensue scorpio they will and it'll it'll all start happening in big and small ways and um You'll, you'll start seeing synchronicities. Things will just start working out. And it might not be... Um, you might not win the lottery, but you might start seeing numbers. You might start getting guided to, to certain things. And whatever it is that you're desiring, it'll start gaining its own momentum and gain... A life of its own it really will so yeah um, the other thing that I'm feeling drawn to say is to also so there's a focus on your solar plexus but there is also a focus on opening up your heart and um, because allowing is a very heart-centered practice to do um the the divine feminine lives very much through the heart um and so does the divine masculine i just i just feel for me personally the divine feminine like there's a huge focus on on the heart with the divine feminine um the divine masculine is also but it's also um in the mindscape too but this is all in the heart and so yeah knowing knowing who you are there's that and then also opening up your heart in whatever way you can and it can just be appreciating and spending that one-on-one -on -one time with yourself with God with nature and really appreciating and um, and also the more that you get to know who you really are the more your heart opens up and and vice versa the more that you open your heart the more that you really know who you are and you fall in love with yourself and you fall in love with life and and all of these things so um yeah once you start opening up your heart not to say that your heart isn't open um i personally have been having a lot of um heart opening experiences when i already felt like my heart was open and 
boy, I had no idea. So it could be the same for you. Like you thought you already had an open heart and now you are starting to have these experiences that, that are opening you up even more. So let's um, get into the fairies. The first two cards you have are the guardian at the gate and fact the footer. Um, I just want to focus on this card for right now. So the guardian at the gate is all about, well, it has two meanings. It can either be going through a tight squeeze where th this is a very, um, going through this tight squeeze is a very spiritual anointment process that, um, that you go through where once you cross this point, there is like no going back. And it's like a good thing because you wouldn't want to go back. Um, but it's just, it just means to say that it's a total up leveling of, of life. But the only catch is that you, you have to shed everything that doesn't serve you anymore to get to that higher state of consciousness, to get to that higher uh, quality of life. So that's the first meaning, going through the tight squeeze and letting go of all sorts of um, baggage, not to say that you have baggage, but just, just letting go of just things that don't serve you anymore. The second meaning is that it is a huge release um, and a um, so basically like a huge emotional release um, and so like the only the both meanings require release and um but the first one is a very spiritually important and critical moment in someone's life where uh whereas the second one um it is it is important um but it isn't like a, a pivotal point that you can point to at one space in time so you are definitely going through something, Scorpio, where I think you are being asked to let go of of uh, of just things that don't serve you anymore, and it could be physical things, but usually, usually this is uh, beliefs and. Uh, store inner stories that you're telling yourself over and over again it could be your whole self concept the solar plexus is all about you know your your yourself and your identity and uh this could be healing the path this could be so many things so um whatever it is that you're releasing you're going to feel so much better once it's done and this might um, be a very overwhelming time for you. So they are saying that the footer is coming forward to, to remind you to stay grounded, Scorpio. And in whatever way that resonates best with you. Um, so it could be meditating, it could be doing yoga or some form of exercise or, um, you know, self-pampering yourself, going on walks in nature, uh, you know, and the, yeah, self-pampering, giving yourself a pedicure or a manicure, and um, so this is all about self-care and really grounding yourself, and if this has to do with a relationship, then this is a grounding of the of the relationship, the grounding of the connection. So if there has been a relationship or just a thing that just hasn't been working, no matter how you um, twist and turn it and 
try to plug it in or try to get it to happen. Um, the key here is to uh, release the allowance, release, ground yourself, and miracles will happen, Scorpio. Um, the next card we have is Fee the Lion, or the Fee Lion, <laughs> and uh, I am getting that whatever it is that you have been wanting, relationship, money, new house, new career, uh, whatever it is, Scorpio, <clears throat> sorry, um, I think you have been trying to force things to happen that, that seems to be coming up, a, a, up a lot. Um, or, or it's just been a struggle. It's just been a huge struggle. And, um, it's basically coming to a point that there's like really nothing else for you to do but to just surrender and give it to God and give it to the universe because you don't want to live like this anymore Scorpio. I want to say that um, when it comes to things that we really strongly want and we were mm, conditioned in the past or had other negative people in our life, um, those old stories, those old voices can come up and say, really? You think you're going to do that? So this, this could represent that, that kind of questioning and, um, negativity in, surrounding your desire so it's not so much you but just um old skeletons in the closet trying to like come out and scare you and um talk you out of it or um you get the picture you get the picture and and of course this is part, this is part of the, this is part of the stuff that you are releasing and, and the key will be grounding and centering yourself and doing that personal work. And we have a uh, town on the poet. Oh, just drop some cards, but it's okay. We have town on the poet. And I think that you are starting to Simmer down. If if you have if you have been, uh, I gotta make this happen, or whatever whatever it's been. Um, I think you are starting to be like, okay. I need a different strategy here. I need I need to I need to really think about this or. Or you're just like very much in your head because of uh, the feline and you're yeah you're just I think I think now in the reading your 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 energy is shifting and saying okay I I really need a different plan here I really need to do something different and which is really good and really healthy um but you don't want to, because, because he's like the Romeo. He'll spend like a whole 24 hours just like trying to find the perfect words to end a love letter with. And so you don't want to do that. You don't want to, you want to get more in your heart, not so much in your head. You want to get more in your heart and really feel what it is that feels right to you 
and listening to your guides and your angels and your higher self and your inner being and um, doing that meditative spiritual work. Uh, conversely, we have the spirit dancer reversed and this can, I've, okay, right side up, this indicates a breaking free and, um, yeah, free flying. And then, so reversed means that you've been having trouble breaking free and when that ha when when there is that amount of energy to to break free but um but it feels like this inability to which which might be why the feline came up because it's like that that voice of like oh you oh you think you can do that do you type thing which you totally can. You totally can break free, Scorpio. Um, but this really wanted to come up reversed. So um, this can lead to, um, I just get like Tasmanian devil or, or like a bull in a china shop, you know? It's just like, and and that's why, and that's why there is this focus to be grounded. Um, because... I'm getting those, um, oh, what are they called? They're like those like Chinese um, paper uh, toy things where if you're like struggling and you can't, you can't be free, but then once you relax, then you can just like <laughs> take it off. So, um, or like Devil Snare in Harry Potter, like the trick is to relax, not to, not to um, tense up and and scream <laughs> and lose it like Ron, but to but to relax and to just allow and I'm yeah I'm getting that there has come a point where there's really nothing else to do but to just surrender and to just allow Scorpio. Uh, you also got another reverse card, which is uh, the Soul Shrinker. Not not a pretty card, but it's okay. We're gonna transmute all of this energy. That's why it's here. So let's thank him for showing up so we can transmute this and heal it. But basically, um, I am sensing a Scorpio that has been in some kind of situation, whether it is family or work environment, or has or just like society or some kind of situation where it has been very oppressive and it has been a struggle to break free Scorpio. It has been. And, and I, I really empathize with you and I'm so sorry that it has been this way. It, if you resonate with you with this mes message, um, it has been a struggle, and there has been some form of oppression, and I want to say like out outright, um, yeah, outright oppression. Um, trying to keep you from going after whatever it is that you want, whether it is an outside influence or, um, you know, your own personal sabotage from old conditioning, old paradigms. Um, and so there might be at least maybe one of you out there, because, because of this, because of this oppression, if from, it's coming from the outside, from family or work, um, I feel like it has been complete, a completely valid response 
to want to blame others, want just feeling so hurt and angry and frustrated um, and wanting to maybe even like prove people wrong by doing it to prove people wrong. Um, but the key is going to be to let, to let go, Scorpio, to let, to let go, to find a way to release, to release that blame and to release that feeling of wanting to prove people wrong, if that applies. And knowing that, that for whatever reason, you were placed in that situation as the, I don't want to sound patronizing or condescending at all, Scorpio, because I'm very, I'm very sincere in this, that 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 whole experience that you went through was actually a spiritual hero's journey that you were placed on to become stronger and perhaps it was all about to it was all about helping you to really know who you are and owning that and so yeah there is this need to release, to release and cleanse all of that energy and there might be a need to forgive, not to condone, but to just, just forgive, know that um, people are human, they're doing the best that they can even when it doesn't seem like it, even when other people seem cruel or ignorant. Um, and you now get to just focus on you and give yourself whatever it is that you really want and know that you can have it and to release and to surrender. The last card that we have is the Singer of Courage. So whatever, whatever this is, um, courage is, uh, the wind beneath your wings, you know, uh, courage is right there with you to help you through this whole process that you might be going through. It might be a major healing process. Uh, in the beginning, I talked about opening up your heart chakra. So, um, part of opening up your heart is, you know, forgiveness and, just letting go of resentments, if that applies, and just letting go of whatever the struggle is, whatever the resistance is, and that oftentimes can take a lot of courage. And you have it, you have it here with you, and you are so, so strong. And you are going to break through, Scorpio. You got you got the miracle card, and um, and I know that it might seem bleak. It might be like really, like I I just I'm just gonna meditate on my couch, and it's just all gonna happen. Well, not necessarily like that, but once you per se, <laughs> sit on your couch and meditate, you will then, because of your changed emotional state, you will then be inspired to do certain things that will lead you down the path of, or up the path to your desire, to everything that you want. So it's all about changing that internal state. And, and oftentimes, I find that it's not so much... Um, because we have, we might have, hmm, how do I say? 
on the surface, uh, we might be one way. And then in the background, in the back of our mind, or in our core or deep down, we really feel this uncomfortable emotion. That uncomfortable emotion, even though it's like kind of running in the background, it might not seem like it's a big deal. It's actually running the show because, um, because if it wasn't there, then then you would be inspired to do different things or um, or you wouldn't have anxiety about doing certain things or not doing certain things or, or whatever it is, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, it's all, it's, it's all going to work out, Scorpio. Really, all you need to do is to just find a way to find just some relief and you don't just like for five minutes just tell yourself okay I don't need to figure this out right now I can take five minutes off I can take a five minute vacation from all of this no one's gonna get hurt I'm not gonna die it's gonna be okay and just take like that five or 10 minutes or 20 minutes or an hour, like whatever it is that you feel comfortable doing and just take that time and just start proving to yourself this, uh, this concept that if you can change how you feel from within and you're not approaching things from a place of resistance instead Instead, you are approaching things from a place of allowance and ease and grace and love and joy and creativity, then that's when you will break through and you will start creating positive momentum. And you will start to see miracles start unfolding in your life. Okay, Scorpio, so I hope that, um, I don't necessarily hope that this uh, message resonated with you um, because it's rather, um, there's a lot going on, but if it did resonate with you, I hope that it brought you a lot of value and new insight and encouragement and um, support and love and everything, and yeah, just be kind to yourself, be kind to others, know you are never alone, Scorpio, and you are so, so, so loved, lots of love, and blessings, bye, they're on their way to you.